Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for Citrus Twist Kit and this is my first layer that I'm going to share using the new Skyland kits. Those are the kits for July 2018. And for this particular layer, I'm using the mixed media and the main kit. I am going to bring one digital card into it just because I needed to. <laughs> and uh, But let me show you what I'm doing. First of all, I'm prepping one of the cardstocks that came in the kit and I'm using a brayer and some clear yeso. This is going to prevent the paper from buckling when I add all the colors of the mixed media kit. And this month's mixed media kit is uh, four colors from the Vicky Beauty uh, collection. And uh, they're great. They match all the colors on the papers in actually the three kits. The main pressure uh, project life and the add-on kit. The paint matches all kits. Beautiful paint. Highly um, pigmented. So a little bit's going to go a long way. So for this particular layout, after the Yes to Hot Prime, I am using uh, the ColourPop paints as watercolor. So a little bit is going to go a long way. And this is one of the reasons that I put Yes to uh, behind it, because I knew it was going to use quite a bit of water, and I don't want the paper to buckle. It's still going to create a little bit of waves, but not as bad as if I would not have prepped the page. And all I'm doing is using very little amount of paint, uh, adding plenty of water, and then using the packaging technique, to put it on the on the page and as you're gonna see right now i am using the leftover uh bits of paint left on the plastic just to add a few um you can call them sprinkles <laughs> you can call them uh just a, a few um droplets on the page i had this idea of creating this big cluster of uh layers and mixed media at the bottom corner and then just having the top uh right corner in this case where i'm gonna add my title and as you're going to see, I am going to use actually the four colors of the uh, paint. And I am going to try my best not to um, muddle them together. So, But I'm going to use them in like four different, four separated blocks all together in a way. And uh, one of the things you have to be careful is that the uh, sugared strawberry paint is quite uh, pigmented. So it's a little bit, it's really, really um, pink. So in case you're pink, just try so what I did is I watered it down on the side. I'm just adding a little bit. I wanted to test how pink it was going to be on the paper. And uh, same thing with the green. Uh, they tend to be really, uh, like I said, they're very highly pigmented. So in case you don't like like really loud colors, they just sit, do a little bit at a time. That way, you know, it won't scare you on the paper. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This is my background. Did not take that long to uh, put together. I sped up the process so you can see it. Uh, and all I'm doing right now is the leftover paint that I have. I'm just adding a few uh, droplets on the top corner. So in a way, it ties down to the bottom uh, section. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. This is not going to take too long to dry because, like I said, not that much water is being added. And while that is drying, I am going to start working on some of the layers uh, of the page. And this layout is made out of actually a lot of the main uh, kit papers. I'm going to bring in one of the cards uh, from the digital cards because I needed to bring a little bit of extra yellow and that card had it all. Now, let me just talk to you a little bit about uh, this layer. This layer is a picture of my kids playing at the swing. And if you see my work, then you know that I have teenagers. I don't have small kids. But my kids love to go to the playground. That's a little secret. Uh, so um, whenever we get a chance, they'll play in the swings. They'll play in the slides. They will fight. Just like little kids, they always make sure there's no people around to see it. So um, the idea that I had for this particular layer was to create a lot of layers. And when I started creating this layer, I thought, you know what, I'm talking about a secret. I am going to add sort of like a peekaboo to behind the scenes idea. So I decided to add this uh, black and white um, strip of paper. This is one of the pink fresh studio papers is included in the kit just as a behind uh, the, where the picture is going to be. So on the left side of the page. And then I'm going to create a slit on the cardstock and I'm going to fold the edge so that you can have, you have a peek of the paper that's underneath. And that's going to actually bring also the black and white that's on the picture. Since I'm doing that to the bottom corner of the page, I'm also going to do it to the top corner where I added that piece, a uh, little bit of mixed media. And as you're going to see, I'm also using the same uh, paper and I'm just going to do the same technique. I'm going to cut a little slit and I glue the paper behind and fold the pieces together. Uh, so I fold the edges of the cardstock uh, in, not together, sorry. Now, once I have that done, I'm thinking the top corner is the perfect place for a title. And for this, I am bringing some of the ephemera from um, 
the Pink Fresh Studio ki uh, collection that came in this month's kit. And I'm gonna use also the Conversation Started um, stamp. This is one of the new stamps, amazing stamp, good for creating titles, for uh, working on your TNs, for working on your project life. One of the must haves uh, is already on reorder because it's been that popular. Now, once I have that done, I am gonna start working on the title, uh, finish the title, and I'm using uh, the Imagine That Alpha, Alphas that came included in the Skyline kit and they're gorgeous, they're all colorful. I think we all were drooling over them when we saw them. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just working on the title. And it says, it reads like that, it's all about the good times every now and then. And this is all built with the stamp and the alphas, loved it. Now, as I'm working on this particular uh, page, I realized that the agenda page that I cut has also a say at, uh, at the bottom that says, uh, what's good about any day? when you have to wake up. And I thought, you know what, great for my teenagers because they can sleep the entire day. And I'm just working on layers. And one of the ideas that I had is, if I have those folds, what can I have one of those folds point to the exact time where this picture was taken, which is a lunchtime. And like I said before, uh, so I'm working with the ideas. And what I bring in right now is that piece of that yellow strip that cuts flowers, uh, you see flowers cut out in it. And this is from a project that is gonna be live next week. And now, uh, all I'm doing is adding it because I want to bring some more pop of yellow to the background without like overtaking it because there's not that much yellow in uh, the letters or anything. So I thought that would be enough. Plus it gives you a peek or behind uh, the mixed media behind. It. And then I'm just working on layers. I don't want to bring that much of that um, fuchsia color because it's very strong. So I think a little peek will be enough. And just to hold everything together, you're going to see that I'm going to staple uh, that little corner to and all the pieces that go there together and then i'm gonna also lift uh, a little bit of the papers and staple underneath so they're fixed to the paper uh because i'm doing this because when you glue stuff on mixed media it tends to not glue together you need to use a strong glue so a staple works a long way and i'm hiding it all i'm doing is you're gonna see that i'm gonna use uh my scissors to make sure that none of that fuchsia piece of paper that i put in it uh shows in the flowers after that, it comes to decorating, and this month's uh, Cut Apart Kid is awesome. And so I'm using pieces from that, and also part uh, from the ephemera, and also the epoxy buttons that came in uh, the main kit, just to add a few clusters around the picture. And I'm gonna, you're gonna see that I'm gonna use, I use a lot of the buttons around the picture, just to uh, create my clusters, and to marry all the circles in the, in the layer i have those big uh o's at the top and you know i thought the circles were gonna match everything properly and you're gonna see that when it came to uh adding something to what the fold is i found this uh button that said a well-planned life and i thought you know what it goes with the idea of the times it just worked really well the main kit this month also has an entire sheet of uh, exclusive puffy stickers so i'm gonna take advantage advantage of them just to add them in the cluster now to emphasize the pink at the bottom of the page, I am using the exclamation mark from the alpha set. And then I'm gonna bring the routine stamp, which is a new one stamp released this month too. Again, another amazing stamp I must have. And I'm using it to add some sentiments to the cluster around the picture. And there's sayings like life and love captured, or for sure, today's work is all about routine. So a must have. After that, you're gonna see that I'm gonna add a few lines of journal, the date, and I'm actually gonna use a little bit of a gold shine, color shine around the picture so that it marries the gold that is also in the titles. And that's pretty much it. I love how this turned out. Lots of layers, uh, mixed media, lots of layers, lots of stamping, um, perfect. Just for me, a little bit messy, even better. This is just me in a page. And it's all about my kids. And you know what, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to help you. But don't forget to check um, this month's kits and stamps. They are amazing. They're perfect for summer. They're perfect for any moment. The stamps, Trina hit it out of the park this month with the stamps. They're amazing. The papers in all the kits are great. Look at the, the saying on the on the page. We loved it. Love it. These kits are one of my favorites so far. Um, don't forget to check the kits. Don't forget to check the stamps. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as always, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to help you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you soon. Take care.